So today is a recap of day 16 of Dry Feb. It was a long day for myself, my mom, and my dad. Uh, so what happened this morning, uh, because my dad the day before, so the 15th had fallen twice, he was in considerable pain and very weak. So instead of going with my mom to get uh, the scope results from the doctor, my mom went by herself. So I... Uh, helped my dad in the morning, took him to his office, kind of whatever, relaxed, and then he went wanted to go downstairs for a bit. So uh, when my mom arrived back uh, uh, from the doctor, we were both downstairs watching TV in the main kind of, uh, and as soon as she came through the door, she said, right away she said, he's got cancer. And I, I was like, I was just like, oh man, like she didn't even sugarcoat it, didn't even like take any time or like to explain this is whatever. He's got cancer, and I was just like, oh, that, like, when he was going through this weight loss, and just the signs, that's kind of came into my mind, but I just didn't want to think of it, like, I didn't want to think that, was, I, I'm just hoping it's not cancer, and I think he had mentioned it a while back, he, he said, I, I just hope it's not cancer, too, like, he didn't know what it was, either doctors didn't know what it was, he had so many tests, Blood, blood tests, you name it, uh, CT scan, you name it, they couldn't find anything. Finally, the scope results come in, and he's got uh, cancer of the esophagus, so that explains why uh, he had went from 190 pounds in November, uh, to late November, early December, to less than 120 pounds as of today, which is uh, February, well, 16th, but this early 17th morning, because I'm doing this video late. Uh, so yeah, very sad. He's like a shell of his former self. You know, he's so weak. He can't do anything. My mom and I have to do everything for him. Gets very frustrated. He's getting even more frustrated as the days go by. Today, I heard that he was like, he, even in the hospital, he's like, he was pretty upset. Uh, cause he'd called as the gentleman at the, uh, the security desk for us to give him his bag. Uh, cause he's like, yeah, no problem. So he, they probably got busy and forgot. Uh, so my mom, my, got a call. Good thing I had the cell phone by me and, uh, the hospital's calling and my dad was, I guess, a little upset that he didn't have his bag, which is understandable because I had all his stuff in it. Uh, so yeah, so that was the bad news today, unfortunately, but there was a, a silver lining though. Uh, I did talk to my friend today. We'll go, we'll, we'll name her laugh dancer. I don't want to say her name. She doesn't want me to uh, publicize it. But uh, we all watch uh, Late Night in the Heartland with Jeffrey Darty. Great program. I recommend you check him out on YouTube. He has great content. Anyway, she reminded me of the uh, a Solex that he has, the, the the bracelets and stuff. He different types of bracelets, but he can also uh, send vibes to uh, magnetic or not magnetic, but uh, bracelets like this. My dad has, does have a gold bracelet, so I'm hoping it will work. Uh, so I did get home late. Uh, by the time they checked him in. To the to the hospital and uh, got in and we by the time we got home was past uh, just before midnight so I'd catch the end of his show and uh, admit, and I finally got in to call in and uh, told him what happened today and I'm get, I'm just gonna rewatch his show now so I'm I missed the first part so I'm, I'm guessing Laugh Dancer probably called in about him and if it is I'll soon find out but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's only it her because I know Brandon comments right away he was gonna email me so I appreciate the love from everybody and then the chat. Uh, like I guess I haven't watched the whole thing, but I'm sure I'll I'll, I'll get pretty emotional by watching it. So, um, so I'm gonna watch that after this because I know if I would have watched it before, I probably wouldn't have been able to do the video. Uh, so yeah, so we're still hoping that uh, I'm hoping the Solex can help. I did contact Jeff. Uh, hopefully we can. I uh, told my mom about it because uh, a friend of ours uh, was very sick and she is very similar to the Rife machine and she had a Rife machine and they cured her through vibrations and Solox is the same thing. Uh, it's through vibrations. So I'm hoping that that'll help my dad. Maybe not cure him, maybe at least alleviate the pain on his other ailments as well. It'd be nice to have a miracle too, so they can, uh, uh, cure him. But, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, you know, holding out hope, but uh, you never know. Miracles do happen. I'm hoping we get one because my dad is a great guy. He's never done anything bad to anybody. So I'm hoping it does work.
So we're going to contact them tomorrow and hopefully get that to set up as soon as possible for him. Like I said, he does have his gold bracelet on in the hospital. So gave my brother updates and my friends and family updates on what's going on with my dad today. So they're, they're very, uh, very good. And they were uh, giving me lots of kind words and uh, encouragement and love. I appreciate that as well. So I'm hoping everything works out. Uh, so that's how my day went. Uh, we were hoping for good news. Unfortunately, we didn't get it again. So, hoping that uh, it does work out. But you never know. I just knock on wood and uh, send good vibes to him. I uh, just got to stay positive and hopefully it does work out. Um, I'm going to talk to my brother about that tomorrow. I'm hoping to get a hold of Jeff right away and then laugh to answer and uh, get that uh, stuff on the way right away. So, uh, you could like this video, uh, and, and it's funny that I'm doing dry fab and I never would have thought that, uh, by doing it and especially what's going on with my dad, I would love to have a drink right now, a crown and Coke. I would love to be drinking right now. Cause when I, that's how we dealt with my, uh, with my problems back in the day, I would just drink, uh, you know, drink it away. Uh, but I'm, I'm a different person now. And, uh, so this dry fab is even more, uh, hey kids. It's closer to home now, so I recommend you guys go and donate for sure, because uh, you never know. Who will hit, or you never know what will hit close to home, so if you can go out and donate, I'd really appreciate it. So thanks for watching, guys, and, and we're almost half, well, over halfway there, because it's 28 days this, this summer. <laughs> This uh, month, so I can't wait to the 29th day. I'm going to be having lots of Crown and Coke. I'm going to get loser pissed. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Stay positive out there, and I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks. Have a good day, guys. Take care.